Hey guys, welcome back to another plan with me bullet journal video for October. It's so crazy how time flies guys. Only a few months left and it's already New Year's Eve. It's crazy. As I said in my last bullet journal video, I wanted to try something different and I thought that it would be really fun to use printed out images that are fall related instead of just painting and create a very cute design that you see on Pinterest or Tumblr for example. And since you always have to be careful with copyright, especially online, I was really happy to partner up with Storyblocks to get all the beautiful stock images I will be using for this video. It's a website where you can get high quality photos, vectors, icons and more. The great thing about this website is that everything is royalty free. And this means you can use all their images for any project wherever you might need stock images without worrying. They are giving away 7 free days so you can try it out and dig through 400,000 images in the member library and save 60% on the marketplace where you can find even more content that you can download. So if you're a designer, creator or if you just need beautiful images for any type of project, go to storyblocks.com slash YouTube or check out the link in the description box below and get 7 days for free to start downloading. Since my last original Thursday episode where I painted two different fall sceneries, I kind of realized I'm ready for this season because it's not so cold yet and the trees are so beautiful. And that's why I wanted to keep this theme going and used fall related images like this picture with the leaves. I glued it to the center of the page and then added two orange colored sheets of paper to the right side where I will write down important things and things I want to do in this month. And then I attached a brown paper that I crumbled up first to create this crumbled up texture. It's actually a paper bag and I just cut off a little bit of the paper. I thought it would look really cute with a calendar on top. It was really difficult to find royalty free calendars, that's why I had to DIY it myself somehow. Here the number one is missing but I will be adding it later with a pen so don't worry. And instead of writing down the month as usual, I printed out the text and cut it out to create a nice frame around it. The font I used is called Playlist, so in case you want to try it out yourself, you can just google for that. But I will also link it down below. It was really refreshing to create this design because it felt like scrapbooking and just creating this collage of pictures and papers it was really fun and I've seen so many cute art journals on Pinterest where they use so many cute pictures and tapes and whatnot. I also attached a cute branch with some leaves that I printed out from the website Starblocks as well and attached it to the right side and then taped it with a grey washi tape. I did the same for the calendar and just attached it on the left and the bottom side. I don't know, I find it was really cute. On top of the boxes I added a header with an orange Crayola pen and just wrote down what I'm going to write down. In the box with Macuccino, there are going to be the things I want to work on for the whole channel, website and projects. And this is pretty much it for the first site. The second two pages I wanted to dedicate to a monthly calendar just to write down events and things that are happening in this month. October will be so full and busy, I'm kinda stressed out already. I will be in Berlin for an event and will also meet my friend Holly again and I will finally meet Ella the Bee, Lena Turns Green and Advance Your Style again. These are three German YouTubers I met when I was at VidCon Europe and at the summer in the city. I'm really happy that I started to get out of my comfort zone lately because I learned so much, I learned so many new people and for me who used to be a super shy and introverted person, it's a huge deal. And I'm really happy I keep working on myself daily, I believe that's the most important thing you can do, focusing on becoming a better version of yourself every day. And you can't change from one day to another of course, it will take a lot of time. That's why it's important to do even just small little things that will get you a little closer to the better version of yourself. But yeah, back to the journal. I don't know why but whenever I set up my bullet journal I make so many mistakes. I remember how I was stressed to make my bullet journal perfect before even starting it. But now I mess up so much, I, it's not even funny anymore. I think it's because I'm watching sitcoms in the background instead of music and I'm not focused enough. So I'm sorry you have to deal with my mistakes all the time. 
So for the calendar pages, I actually used a pen to create the design. I wanted to keep it simple, so I just created the grid for the calendar, drew a few garlands in fall themed colors, and just wrote down the month on the side. Now for the weekly spread, I printed out another picture with leaves on it as a banner. If you guys are interested, I have a link to the images I have used in the description box so you can use them as well. And since October will be so busy, I decided to put a section for the events and for the to-dos separately so I can see both and don't forget anything. And I wanted to keep it simple again. If you guys are interested in what pants I'm using in this video, I always link everything in the description box below so you can check it out. As the final step, I went back to the front page to add the number one in the calendar. I also erased some pencil lines, added a little bit of color with my Crayola pens, and the setup was ready. I really hope you liked this theme and the idea of using pictures and doing it in more scrapbook style. Let me know what you think, guys. If you liked this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up to support this channel. And if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe and to hit the bell button to get notified whenever I upload a new video on Thursday and on Saturday. Thank you so much for watching guys, have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Bye!